My name is Dr. Joel Rosen. I am an adrenal fatigue recovery ninja, and I help people that are suffering with adrenal fatigue nightmares get their life back. Today I want to talk to you about the best way to heal the adrenals. I'm going to tell you a little story. Many of you know this, probably some of you don't, that I suffered with really, really bad adrenal fatigue myself. I had just graduated from, from college, from doctorate college. Um, I ended up getting um, exhausted. My wife was, was pregnant with twins. I injured my back. I had over $150,000 worth of student loans. I had just moved to a new country, let alone a new state opened up my own business and I was exhausted. And I learned about adrenal fatigue after having two undergraduate degrees and not and my doctorate degree and I hadn't even heard of it. And I'm like, what the what the heck is this? I'm the poster child for adrenal fatigue and I've never even heard of it. Only to find out that doctors in traditional medicine don't even believe in this diagnosis. And so I did all this research and, and, and yelled from the hilltops how bad adrenal fatigue is and how terrible it is that doctors don't accept it and look at you like you're crazy. I still think that's terrible, but I think that the doctors were right for the wrong reasons. So what do I mean by that? I do believe that adrenals are involved with chronic stress and inflammation and oxidative stress and not balancing your blood sugar and environmental toxins and having hormonal imbalances. Um, and not being, being able to handle stress during the day and having anxiety and getting tired. Um, but it's a somatic issue, meaning it's more of an, a mitochondrial problem, meaning um, our cells are the areas that have to, have to make energy, specifically the mitochondria. We learned that in, in high school chemistry. We learned the mitochondria is the power plant of the cell. Yet when we don't have energy, we don't even talk about the mitochondria. And that's really where the problem is when you have an adrenal problem is your mitochondria are sick and they're tired. And more and more research is showing that the mitochondrial dysfunction is really what's responsible for chronic conditions. So the best way that we can heal the adrenals is by healing the mitochondria. So what happens is the mitochondria is responsible for making energy. It's the power plants of the cell. It's also responsible for making free radical damage or free radicals and controlling oxidative stress with a nice antioxidant free radical balance. If mitochondria are sick, they're not going to have a good balance. They're going to have a, a shortage of oxygen to be able to utilize for energy. So your energy is going to go down. The other thing that's going to happen is there's not going to be enough production of antioxidants so your free radicals will go up. As a result, that will create a lot of oxidative stress and that can create a lot of um, damage to your cells if we're not balancing that. That will injure your mitochondria and that will create a negative cycle of decreased energy, increased free radicals, and then decreased mitochondria again. So what do we got to do? we got to fix that mitochondria. How do we do that? Well, there's a lot of things that we can do. And what's interesting is research now is starting to, to get a hold that the mitochondria is a problem. So what do these drug companies want to do? They want to just isolate one single drug to help one single aspect of the mitochondria. The only problem is, is that the cells don't work on one single aspect. The way the cells work is they work as a, a concert and they work in unison with each other. So we need to make sure that we have good membrane health. So that's the, the outer lining of the cell. And that's where um, proteins dock to to tell the cell, hey, you got to do something. It's too cold in here. You got to warm up and put some logs on the fire. That's what the thi thyroid uh, hormone tells. Or, or glucose insulin says, hey, you, you know, you have no energy. You got to open up the... The, the channel so that you can allow sugar in here or glucose. And if those membranes aren't working properly and they become oxidized, that's where we feel old, that's where we have gray hair prematurely, that's where we have wrinkles, that's when we feel like we're 60 when we're 40. Or that's when we look like we're 60 when we're 40. The other thing that we need to do is we need to focus on making ATP. And so how do we do that? There's a lot of nutrients that we can do. We can actually take glutathione. Uh, liposomal glutathione is going to be one of those things that's going to have a really, really good um, um, component to rebuilding the, the membrane. And it's going to be really, really important for reducing um, free radicals. The other thing that we can do is we can do polyphenols or we can do things like turmeric or curcumin or resveratrol or green tea extract or vitamin C. These are all things that are going to reduce the inflammatory cascade. But we don't want to do that too much because if we do too much 
antioxidants, then that free radical is not in balance and we're, we're, we're suppressing our, 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 our innate immune response. So there has to be a fine line, a fine balance. The other thing we want to do is we want to do nutrients that are going to be supportive for the ATP production. And those are things like CoQ10, NADH, L-carnitine, D-ribose, um, P-phosphate, um, uh, ribose, P-phosphate. Um, what else can we do? We can also do um, creatine, which would be good for the membranes. Um, so there's a lot of things that we can do, but I hope that you find this useful that it's not about healing the adrenals per se. It is. We want to control our stressors, eat healthy, um, get into a nice parasympathetic state, not be go, go, go all the time, get plenty of sunlight. But really what it's about, it's about trying to heal the mitochondria. 